Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than I want Darth Maul to get his own solo live-action movie. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. We're, of course, in the middle of several Star Wars-themed episodes this month, and we thought it would be fun to do a Star Wars superhero mashup episode because, well, that's what we do. So today, Variant is going to give you the answer to the question, could a lightsaber cut through the Incredible Hulk? The lightsaber is widely considered one of the coolest and most popular weapons in all of fiction, and the Hulk is also one of the most well-known superheroes in all of comics but he's also known as one of the strongest and more importantly, for this scenario, one of the most durable. Well, one of the things we nerds love to do is explore what happens if you have two different things from completely separate universes in the world of fiction collide. For instance, could a lightsaber cut the Hulk? Well, let's find out, shall we? The first thing you have to know is that a lightsaber is made of a plasma blade, which is powered by a kyber crystal. And because they're basically just laser swords, they're known for being able to cut through almost anything almost being the key word. You see, even in the Star Wars universe, lightsabers can't cut through everything. One of the most notable things being Zillow Beast Hide, which can deflect lightsaber strikes. It also has a hard time cutting through things and objects with high durability. For example, take the time Qui-Gon was cutting through Durasteel doors in Phantom Menace. It was taking him such a long time to cut through the doors with his saber that he and Obi-Wan had to abort their mission because they were being overwhelmed by droids, and Obi-Wan couldn't hold them off any longer. Point being, it could technically cut through those incredibly durable doors, but man did it sure take a while. As for the Hulk, he's one of the most durable characters in all of comics. So durable, in fact, that while Wolverine was able to cut him with his adamantium claws, the strongest metal in Marvel Comics, the Jay Giant, or Grey in this instance, bounced right back as his injuries healed almost immediately. With that said, let's go back to Durasteel for a second. Durasteel, an official Star Wars canon, is stronger than normal steel, but weaker than titanium. Adamantium, however, is again the strongest metal in the entire Marvel Universe, making it leaps and bounds stronger than titanium. And as we already established, Durasteel is slightly weaker than titanium. So taking that all into account, and considering the fact that the Hulk already comes from a universe with laser-based weaponry, where his flesh has been repeatedly shown to be resistant to all of it, or at the very least mostly resistant to it, I think it's safe to say that if you swung a lightsaber at the Hulk, it would either bounce off him or slightly graze him, leaving a paper cut-like wound, which would then instantly heal due to his strong healing factor. And let's not forget, piss him off. But let's just say for the sake of discussion that the Hulk was sleeping and you slowly try to impale the lightsaber through his flesh. You might be able to cause some damage if he remained unconscious for a long time without noticing. But chances are he would wake up and turn you into a human Pez dispenser before you even broke the top layer of his skin. Good luck. In summary, Hulk versus a lightsaber, Hulk wins. All day long. 